All right, in part two of our video, we are going to create a second table that helps us categorize the different asset classes in our investments. So if you think about this, let's say you had three portfolios with equities, a 401k, a taxable account, and a 529. You would want to just set one table that describes the return profile of the risk of equities and not have to type it in three times. Uh, so here is our second table. So we're gonna, uh, we're in Notion, we hit the plus sign. Again, we're gonna do another table, full page, and that launches us in a new table. This table we're gonna call underlying assets. And then, so I go into the name. Again, this is like our main key. So here I'll type uh, asset type. I'm gonna create uh, a bunch of different asset types. So we're gonna have equities, bonds, cash. I'll put balanced just as a hybrid. Um, and then privates for private companies. Now I'm gonna create a bunch of attributes that um, the tie to these assets. So let's say I wanna have an expected return. So I'll go to this column, my second column. I'm gonna change this from a multi-select to a number. And then again, I'm gonna go back in and change the name to expected return, and then I'm gonna format this as a percentage percent. And so then I'm gonna do the same thing, but instead of expected return, I'm gonna do uh, worst case loss. Max, max drawdown is the title, is a name. Uh, field is a number, and I go back in uh, and I format the number again to a percent. Now, don't take these percentages too seriously. They're more for illustrative purposes, but let's say expected return for equities is 6%. Max drawdown will say negative uh, 40%. Uh, bonds, let's say 2.5%. Max drawdown will say 8%. Cash will say 1%. Max drawdown will say zero. Uh, balanced, uh, again, let's say this is 60-40, so we'll say 3.5% and max drawdown we'll say uh, 24%. And then privates, this is difficult, but you could just say maybe 15%, max drawdown 50%, 70%. Okay, so We've set up our second table, and in our next video, we're going to link the two tables together.